Hey everyone, remember when I did a video pretending to be the not CEO of Xbox where I explained in detail in a sarcastic mockery of uh, an executive from Xbox why those studios were closed? And I said in that video that awards don't matter, they're just tools to be used in marketing to create a sense of FOMO and a bunch of other stuff, which I'm adding that part right now. So like in the original video, I just said FOMO. I mean, I haven't picked up a book on behavioral economics, but... Yeah, there's a lot of psychology at work when you say, like, oh, hey, we got 90 awards. Yeah, FOMO, the product looks better. Like, you have to have the award-winning product. It's, it's psychological manipulation. So, here's Civilization 7. And, lo and behold, oh, even up here, the award-winning. The award-winning strategy game franchise. No description of the game. And then from the legendary team at Firaxis, which probably doesn't even still exist, because I'll guarantee you a lot of the developers of Firaxis probably moved on in the intermeaning years to form other studios. How many games have we seen from the developers of Civilization? Those were former Firaxis employees. The point being, all this stuff here, it's meaningless. It's just to psychologically convince you to buy the game using a variety of psychological mechanisms, a lot of which I will be straight on with you guys. I don't know the exact name of. I'm just aware they exist. And that is the point of awards. So, like, when you ask, why did Hi-Fi Rush, the studio Tangle Gameworks, get shut down when Hi-Fi Rush won all these awards? Well, because those awards didn't translate into sales on PlayStation. They put the game on PlayStation. It didn't even break the top ten. The week it came out. It didn't break top ten. I think it was like somewhere in the 50s, but it's been a while since I don't really remember like exactly the number it was at, but it was low. It might have been 30s, actually. You guys can fact check and put the actual number in the comments. The point being, it didn't translate to sales, and if it don't translate to sales, awards are meaningless because they don't come with cash. They come with the opportunity to convince you to buy the game, which gives them cash. Well, money in a digital form, but that's beside the point. So that is why awards don't matter. They're just marketing material. Because you can look at this here. There is no information about this game. This is just all material to convince you that you have to be excited about this game. It doesn't tell you what features it has, other than it's a civilization game. This whole thing is like, it's a civilization game. It's like, all right, cool. And? Because I can go with this description here, and I can go by probably five, ten other games that will deliver the exact same mechanics. Right now. So that's meaningless. That there is just to get you excited. That there is to convince you of quality. It's all manipulation, and that's why to the companies, awards don't really matter unless they translate into money. That's all I have to say about this. You have a great day. Hit the like, subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, people.